the sun is not actually yellow. Sure, if you go look at it directly, and you definitely should not, it will appear yellow or red or maybe other colors if you aren't particularly sober, but that's because of the light bending through the atmosphere and scattering off stuff. If you go into space and look at the sun, which is a really bad idea, it will appear white before it blinds you. The sun has a different name, and you've probably heard it before. Much like the queen, uh, the king, is named Charles, the sun goes by Sol and Helios, where we get the terms solar system and heliosphere. Sure, things can be sunny, but they can also be kingly, meaning the sun acts a little more like a title or a job description. This one works for free though and doesn't collect any taxes. The sun, the reason you wear shades except to look cool, has an atmosphere, but it's way hotter than you would think. Sure, the sun is mostly a ball of hot plasma, but the photosphere, what you see when you look at the sun, is different from the corona, the quasi-atmosphere you see when you look at a total solar eclipse. We don't really know why, but the surface is only five to 6,000 degrees Celsius, while the atmosphere is closer to one to two million. The sun, the reason you look like a lobster after going to the beach, spins just like the earth. It completes one revolution every earth month or so, but unlike the earth, it's always daytime for some reason. The idea that the earth orbits the sun has been around a lot longer than you think. Many credit Copernicus with the invention of heliocentrism, but it was actually theorized by third century Greek astronomer Aristarchus. He also theorized the sun was just another star, but much closer. This placed him at odds with fellow Greek philosopher Aristotle, who thought the sun orbited the earth. <laughs> what an idiot. The sun, initially discovered by the first thing to develop eyes, is much more massive than you think. The sun masses more than 300,000 times that of earth. So if it wasn't hot enough to kill you, and it actually had a surface you could stand on, you would be subjected to 28 Gs, way more than enough to still kill you. So yeah, don't go to the sun. Sunspots are not solar chicken pox, but rather areas of cooler temperature on the surface of the sun. Caused by the wild, powerful magnetic field of the sun, which is just bubbling all over the place, these spots were first recorded in ancient Han Dynasty China as written in the I Ching. Their prevalence correlates with an 11-year solar cycle that can predict things like coronal mass ejections. The sun, the reason your eyes work, orbits the center of the galaxy much like the Earth orbits the sun. The distance to the central black hole, Sagittarius A star, is about 26,660 light years, and one orbit takes 240 million years, so there's plenty of time left to plan that galactic New Year's party. The sun, the thing that keeps the vampires at bay when Wesley Snipes is busy, is getting hotter. We have 5 billion years or so before it swells into a red giant and swallows the Earth, but long before that it will be far too hot for us to live on Earth's surface. Current rough estimates put the boiling off of the oceans at only 1 billion years from now. So yeah, get ready for that.